and welcome to our beam practice. Now, not everyone has a beam at home, so Maisie's going to be showing you, and Georgie and Kiri are going to be showing you how we practice on a line. If you don't have a line, you can just try and imagine one in your head. So we're just gonna practice. So we're gonna start off with how our posture should be on beam. So Maisie, if you can put your arms up. So when we go on beam, we want to have our palms facing the back of the room. So we want to turn our hands, we want to push our shoulders back as far as we can. We want to have our hips tucked underneath and our ribs tucked in so we, make, we can see Maisie's in a lovely straight line. We want really straight legs, so squeezing all of our muscles. And it's very important in gymnastics that we have turned out feet. So Maisie, if you could just put one foot forward and turn your foot in, so turn your foot in. So this is what we don't want. We want to make sure we have nice turned out feet like this. So this is what we're going to do on every step. So we're gonna have this lovely posture and we're going to have walk with turned out feet the whole way. So you can see Maisie points her toe behind on everyone and turns her foot slightly out as we walk forwards. We don't want them too far out as the beam is very narrow, but we do want it a little bit. And then we're gonna pretend when we get to the end of our imaginary beam, we're gonna go up onto our tiptoes, arms up by our ears and do a beautiful half turn. Lovely, and then we're going to do the same going backwards. So pointing our toe at the back, walking on flat feet, turning our feet out, hands are still facing the back of the room, shoulders pressed back and chin up. We should have our eyes down, not our chin down. Lovely, Maisie, thank you very much. Next up, we've got Georgie showing us how to do our sideways walks on the beam. So again, we're gonna start off with the same posture with our arms out to the side. We're then gonna step one leg across and then we're gonna cross our feet over and cross our arms. That's it, then we're gonna stretch that foot back across, stretch out to the side. Good, we're gonna do that the whole way. So as we cross our leg, we cross our arms and then stretch out and cross. And we're doing this the whole way. Very nice. Then when we get to the end of our imaginary beam, we're not gonna turn around because we're gonna go back leading with the other leg. So we're just gonna go back doing the same thing. So step and cross, step and cross. Again, if we have got a line, trying to stay on that line as that is acting as our beam. Very nice, Georgie, well done. Then we're going to have Kiri come and show us how to do our backwards walking. Now backwards walking on the beam is a little bit tricky, but we use something called toe taps. So as you can see, Kiri turns her foot underneath and taps the beam before she puts our foot. That way we can check if the beam is there before we put our foot down. And we also know when we are at the end of the beam. This is a very good thing to practice. Keeping our chin up, eyes down, and keeping our hands pressed back. Once to remember that posture. Beam is all about posture and how pretty we can make it look. That's it, so pointing that toe, keeping those legs straight. Very good. And then at the end of our imaginary beam, we're gonna go up on our toes and a beautiful half turn. Lovely, then we're gonna do the same thing, going backwards. That's it. Pointing our toe, that's our toe tap, then putting our foot down. Toe tap, putting our foot down. Toe tap, putting our foot down. Lovely, Kiri, thank you. The next thing we're going to be doing is our elephant walks. So this preps us for handstands, cartwheels, forward walkovers, anything really that involves our hands going down on the beam. This is also an excellent way to challenge your balance. It's much harder than it looks. So on this one, we're gonna start with our feet together, hands up by our ears. We want to make sure we hide our ears the whole time. So we're gonna step forwards with one leg, then we're gonna put our hands down as though they're on the beam with our thumbs together. So we call this butterfly hands. So we're gonna have our thumbs together, again, as the beam isn't very wide. Then we're going to try and stand up, still hiding our ears. Very nice, Maisie. And we're gonna do this every step of the way. So we're gonna be squeezing those knees nice and straight, trying to go all the way down, putting our hands on the beam and standing up again. If you struggle to do this with straight legs, you can do it with bent legs or just going down as far as you can. And this is what we're going to do the whole way there and the whole way back. You can practice this for as long as you like. Very good, thank you, Maisie. Then we're going to move on to Georgie, who is going to take it a little step further and show us how to do needle kicks. If you struggled with the elephant walks, you can carry on practicing those until you've mastered those, or you can do a smaller kick than Georgie is about to do. So with this one, we're gonna start with our arms up by our ears again. 
We're going to take a step forwards. We're going to put our hands down and we're going to kick our back leg up. So you can kick it, you can do a little one or you can do a big one as Georgie showed both. Then we're going to step forwards on the other leg. We have to make sure we practice both legs and do a nice big kick up at the back. Again, our aim is to hit splits, but again, if you're only lifting a little way, that is absolutely fine. One more please, Georgie. So stretching down, kicking that leg up, lovely. And doing a nice finish, beautiful. And Kiri. So Kiri's going to show us how to do kicks on B. So again, starting with that lovely posture, Kiri's going to kick her leg up to about halfway, then go up on her toe and lift her leg as high as she can. And again, doing this on both legs. So kick and then kick up on the toe. Kick, kick up on the toe. Very good, we want to do this with straight legs. Again, you can just lift as high as you can. If you cannot get that high, that's absolutely fine. The more you practice, the higher you will be able to kick. Very nice, thank you, Kiri.